Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, I wanted to ask Taro, will you win the legal case plus advice? So, will you win the legal case plus advice? Someone requested this reading. Uh, and I just wanted to note that I am really bad at the legal stuff. I don't know how that works. I don't know the right vocabulary to use, you know, that they use during the legal cases to describe things, etc. But I will try to do it in my own words, uh, according to the cards, and maybe that will make sense to you, who probably knows that stuff. And uh, also, this is only for entertainment purposes, I might be wrong, etc., etc. So yeah, if you'd like to participate in this experimental reading, please think of your legal case or somebody else's legal case and pick a deck or decks. I would advise one deck for one case and yeah, two decks for two cases, let's say. Okay, so take some time and just pick the deck that stands out the most for you. Okay, so let's have a go. I think you've picked your deck. So let's start with the deck number one. Okay, deck number one, those who chose this deck, it's for you. Will you win your <clears throat> legal case plus advice? Okay, this will show us the situation that's happening right now. Okay, okay. Well, here... Well, first of all, we have this uh, first card to describe the situation as the card of Hermit. <clears throat> In this deck, we see a disabled person basically um, a poor disabled person, maybe old person. It can be that this card is just describing the problem, describing the case, what is it all about. It can be that it's talking about uh, a person who is, uh, <clears throat> that the case is related with like a pension or poverty, some sort of benefits, some sort of like um, elderly person. It can be disability, uh, involving disability or ill health. It can be about illness, some sort of compensation or benefit or something like that. Also can be uh, like someone poor, you know, <clears throat> like pathetic situation, uh, some sort of, you know, like pathetic, um, hopeless situation, you know, where a person can be ill, poor, old, you know, that sort of thing. <clears throat> so, now what is the problem with the case? We see the full card and uh, this shows some sort of, something does make sense, you know, something like crazy happening. Maybe some people did something crazy with this person. Maybe someone is just laughing at the thing or you feel like people are laughing or like it's a laughable situation. A pathetic, laughable paradox. That sort of thing. So sometimes it can talk in a fool with her it can be talk about like mental, a person with mental problems. Uh, it can also be that, you know, sometimes like you want justice, but there is no justice, there is no uh, shout back, there is no response, there is no proper action taken. You feel like the government, you feel like people are just laughing at the situation, not taking it seriously. So it can be that sort of problem. 
it can be that you're dealing with a person who is not mentally stable, uh, and that's why this situation uh, looks so weird, and you know you cannot deal properly with it. So in the end, we see the King of Swords. It probably represents the, the judge or the lawyer. Um, it can be a very tough lawyer. It can be very tough. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. The I don't know in the in the legal cases, who else is there? Lawyer, advocate, judge, persecutor, or something. So someone is very strong, a very strong person, very powerful, knowledgeable, experienced, intelligent, and uh, ruthless. You know, this person is ruthless. So this is your answer. Will you win this case? Well, uh, it depends on people. So if you have uh, like a, well, in the case, a rival who's very strong, educated, and, you know, his mind is very sharp and he's very ruthless, good with words, etc., etc., it's going to be hard. Also, you can say that if you are this man, you can win the case. If you get a good lawyer, if you get, um, if you are this person, if you are yourself ruthless and very strong, knowledgeable and good lawyer, you can win this case. I want more information on this card. So, we see the death card. Well, death, uh, it's very, um, it doesn't say you will win the case, basically. But uh, it also can talk about some sort of factor of fear. And the factor of, you know, that something has to be changed in this case. Something drastically needs to be turned upside down. Uh, and something revealed or something destroyed or something, you know how to see and this card fell nine of cups three cards fell nine of cups knight of wands and the burning tower the tower of god the house of god well you i think the situation is difficult uh, it's more turning towards that you will not win this case because well, it gives us extra information it doesn't have to be related with this well some sort of uh, nine of cups well the situation like a dangerous situation uh, someone did something because of inability to control their passions wishes etc and eventually they try to run but it's too late it can talk something where alcohol is involved you know it can talk about some liquids explosions fires etc can talk about uh, arsons and liquids gases etc etc i don't know if uh, you know something like that so one minute let's pull one more card for this too you know three of swords is not a good card it shows that you will not win the case <clears throat> it will not you will not win the case there's too much of Like it's helpless, like it's impossible almost. Um, let's uh, see, what is the advice for us? I think this is just talking more information, just uh, telling us more information about the stuff. So, one card is an advice for you, how to win this case, what to do, how to make this feel better a little bit. Okay, so we have the card of Sagittarius. Now, yeah, I think it's a Sagittarius. It's, it's talking about, uh, you know, extraordinary mind. It's talking about uh, your extraordinary, extraordinary mental abilities. And uh, it's talking about you having a very aggressive attitude towards winning this case. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, like as a Sagittarius, you know, they are um, known for their um, 
intellects, for their freedom, for their mind that has no limits. So I think you have to use some sort of unusual method, unusual method, uh, invent a very creative method to win this case. And you have to, um, I think, it can be almost uh, unreal, you know, unusual that no one else uses it, and it involves money, it, in it has something to do with property or money. Maybe some sort of uh, check or some sort of uh, proof regarding the property or bills, accounts, big, big, big purchases. Very, very, very um, big money. So now uh, it can talk through finances, th through financial side. I think you can use this. I hope it's not talking about bribing someone because we, we mean the legal way of winning the case. But it's talking money can solve this case, can help. And you have to do it very, very, uh, according to this card, cleverly, like no one does. It's very unusual, it's very extraordinary. And either this relating to the house and property and some documents, you know, family, something like documents, or it can be basically just uh, some purchases, expensive purchases, or just big amounts of money, something like that. That's it. This was reading number one. No idea if it made sense for you. Please share in the comments if it did or it didn't. And let's have a look at the deck number two. What does it have to say? Okay, this is deck number two, those who chose this deck. Um, the question is, will you win the case plus advice? As I mentioned before, this is for entertainment purposes only. We're just experimenting with cards. Oops. So, <clears throat> will you win this case? I'm pulling three cards. It will tell us about the situation. So, so first of all, this seems like uh, this can be financial case. This can be uh, related with money, and also this can be related a little bit with the uh, partnership, like um, marriage or couple relationships. So, the situation right now is the Nine of Wands, it talks about that you're really struggling, really struggling, you know, banging your head in the wall, it's not happening, you know, you know, but you are not giving up, you know, you're trying your best to solve this case, to win this case, you know, you're not getting, um, you're not feeling like you're losing, but it may be that it's <clears throat> been lasting for a while and it's tiring you, you're becoming exhausting and you're really fed up with it already. So that sort of situation. Now the problem here is the king of coins. It shows a man with a financial interests. It can be a man and his finances. Like you're fighting with a man because of finances or something. You want to, to get the money from the man. Or the man has to pay you money. Or the man has sued you because of something. And he wants money from you. So it's basically like a financial more uh, problem it seems. And will you win this case five of uh, coins? I think if we talk about money, uh, you might lose this case because five of coins is a card of poverty. It's a temporary like bankruptcy, things like that. It's basically not in your favor with this card. And, uh, you know, um, I don't know if I can... Probably you'll have to pay him the money. That's why it shows the card of poverty. Yeah, again, we see uh, gifts of money, uh, like financial letters, financial documents, financial, some sort of um, payments, gifts, whatever. Will you win? It can be now. This is a good card, so will you win this case? I'm now confused whether you will get the money, whether you will have to pay the money. It can be either so will you get the money 
It's eight of swords. It doesn't seem so will that other person get the money. Also, it doesn't seem so. It doesn't look like you both will get the money. Maybe it's not exactly about the money then. Uh, you both will not be happy basically after the case. Tell me again, what is the outcome? It's a nine of cups, shows positive outcome. And again, legal true legal positive outcome legal messages maybe it will not finish this fast uh, maybe it will be more procedures some sort of not procedures how do you call them like they don't want to finish the case they say come later so something like that because there's still legal communications between you and the court court It shows uh, what is the problem. Okay, a man, again, a man, very ruthless man. Situation very tiring. There is a very aggressive man, male, um, who is like, will never leave anybody alone before solving the problem. He's, you know, like, he's never gonna forgive or whatever. He's always gonna fight and get back never tiring like a little bit angry man you know he can be a king of wands and then we see like he's leaving he's leaving maybe it's a husband who's leaving maybe it's a um, So he has been, for a long time he's been there fighting, fighting, then suddenly he decides to leave, he changes his mind, situation, problem, state of wants, problem is uh, another man, it keeps communicating, keeps coming, keeps messaging, keeps talking. He wants his money. He wants his money. What will happen shows difficult times financially. So maybe you will have to pay this money to this man. And there are many nuances that no one will be happy. Someone, will, uh, Both sides will have to sacrifice things, but you will feel like a victim. And actually, uh, Eight of Swords can be a card of being arrested as well and jailed or whatever. This is also being jailed, by the way. So both of you will not get the money. Both of you will be jailed, according to these cards. Which uh, maybe for some people it can be true. But maybe for some people it can be like just disappointment. If you really is a danger of you being going to jail, then it means you might go to jail or be like suspended, your license been taken or something like that, like a restriction, some sort of restriction, yeah. And uh, for some people it might be just uh, not winning the case, being unhappy with the outcome, etc. If you're, let's say, jail is not the option for you. And uh, well, Ace of Cups doesn't make sense. This card here, like, um, you can talk about water, something with water, uh, drownings, water, maybe alcohol, and some sort of uh, because of that, some sort of uh, legal papers, problems, documents, also. So, okay, let's ask, what is advice here? Because I'm not able to see the outcome here, except that poverty and mis miserable type of feeling after, you know, as an outcome. But exactly what it is, I cannot tell. So what is the advice for you 
in this situation? How to win the case? How to behave? What is advice? Death. You have to get rid of something. You have to basically face your fears. Face your fears. Um, with the death card, is a very extreme card. It can be uh, talking that you have to face the fear in the face. You have to face the fear in the face. You have to deal with what is happening. One of the re one of the you know things. The other one is cut cut something off. Realize that something has to be get rid of. Uh, maybe the past. The past. One minute. Four of Wands. So do what you feel the most afraid of to do in this situation. I don't know if it's to say something or do something or um, something like that. It's so to say something at the court that you're most afraid to say. Uh, to make a drastic measure when you're talking like and this can be this is the can be the lawyer the female the queen of swords is be truthful be um, don't be emotional at all <clears throat> use your mind use your brain this talking uh, this is talking about the good outcome the can be some message also it can be some message or a video or something like that I'm not sure about to be honest <clears throat> what is it advising the death card but for me the first thought that came is just do what you're most afraid of in <clears throat> and um, you have to admit that maybe you lost or something <clears throat> like you have to admit that it's over something is over and with this card you cut it off you admit it and new life starts after this so cut it off the old whatever is happening you have to just clearly finish this off and uh, it can be uh, talking about saying something like truth saying the truth this card actually brings the new movement into the place. It's not talking that it's, uh, you know, it's basically finish it off, finish it off, finish the thing off, finish the case off, finish whatever was dragging off, say the truth, face the fear, um, get over this, you know, don't be afraid to let go of what was there, what were you clinging into, if you know what you're clinging into. It can mean that just let it go yeah and this card talks about uh, being happy with the results you know maybe you doing that what you're afraid of will bring you unexpectedly good results and you will feel happy after afterwards and not so afraid after all I don't know what you're afraid of but the full card also talks about uh, don't think so much, you know, whatever. Go with the flow a little bit. You know, it might turn out well, maybe. Not sure, seriously. Okay, so this was my second reading, which I'm not sure you understood anything or was it, I mean, making sense at all. Let's have a look at the... Reading number three, what does it have to say about the case? This is a deck number three, those who chose it. The question is, will you win the case plus advice for entertainment purposes only? Okay. I'm pulling three cards. It will show us about the case, still tell us more about the case as much as I can understand it because I'm not into the cases okay 
So nine of coins, first of all, describes our... We have this is it. Okay, here you will win the case, first of all. Uh, I think with this card you'll win the case 100%. It will be very difficult, it will be very exhausting, it can be very scary, it can be very uh, demanding, etc. But in the end, you have a great chance to win the case with your, all the struggle, all the power, energy you use. You have um, something in you that will help you, although it seems impossible, maybe, right now. So right now, this card talks about the case, describes the case, and it's nine of coins. It can talk about financial uh, issues. It can talk about uh, actually many things, but like it can talk about an expensive place, a, a posh expensive place, a, a posh house, expensive shop with shiny windows. It can talk about the gym. It can talk about the some sort of uh, place where expensive posh place basically it can talk about big money it can talk about big uh, amounts of money it can talk about um, beauty something uh, with the luxurious items uh, like celebrity issues with celebrity related stuff something like that now the problem in this case Someone is abandoning something, someone is leaving somewhere, someone has changed their mind about things. It can be uh, like someone leaving. Is it Eight of Cups or the Nine of Cups? It's Eight of Cups. Yes. What are you talking about? Okay, it seems like a partner is leaving. A partner who's been with you into, in this business or something might be leaving the business. And maybe the problem is with the money or the place um, that has been there. And it's kind of stuck. You know, there's no decision being made about the money or who is it going to, how is it being shared, etc, etc. So it can be about this some special thing, expensive thing, that uh, the question is about that. Now, it's a partnership problem, I think, with these cards. It can be some sort of uh, even international correspondence, international partnership between two uh, groups or people, two sides basically. So I believe that someone wants to quit. And the question is, who does the money or the thing goes to? It, outcome is yes, you will win the case, but still we will ask for an advice. <clears throat> what is the advice here? The hermit. Well, the hermit... Uh, it's the card of basically um, taking a little break and researching a little more on the thing. Let's say closing yourself in a room and reading some books, reading some papers, reading some browsing and internet, uh, trying to find out uh, more about the thing. Like calmly sit alone and just think about everything very, very well. <clears throat> it can, you know, he is kind of walking with a lamp. Lamp symbolizes that he is trying to um, lighten up his road, his path, you know, uh, get get some light, uh, meaning get some knowledge. So knowledge uh, normally is represented by books and information and uh, computer and internet, etc., research, Google, etc., etc. <clears throat> And it doesn't talk about acting just as yet. Advice. Sometimes it can represent an old man, an old person. It can represent time. Take your time. But it's, uh, I would say, think more, research more. Yes, I'm right. Research more. In the past, go in the past and uh, dig into the past more. 
Maybe a long time ago there was something in the past that you need to know about. <clears throat> yeah, again, <clears throat> confirmation. Dig into the past, long time back, 20 years back, 10 years back. Something with childhood related maybe, something... Uh, brothers, sisters, uh, that sort of thing. Yeah, here it can be, uh, yeah, something you might find there, basically. So, what else can I say? I think I cannot say anything else right now, but you have a great chance of winning. Don't give up. Keep going. And it might be worked out in the future. That's it. Uh... Let's move on to the deck number four now. Okay, this is our <clears throat> deck number four. Uh, the question is how to win the legal case plus advice. Acha, will you win the legal case plus advice? It's for entertainment purposes only and it is an experimental reading. <clears throat> We don't know if this is right, if it's accurate. So, pulling three cards. <clears throat> they will represent the case and they will talk. Wow. Okay, I think oh, okay, we have uh, three cards talking about the case and from the first side I think it's talking about something like rape, sexual abuse, um, molestations and some sort of uh, person who is uh, very cannot control his emotions and control cannot control his passions and he uses power to basically um, well force you can say force without other person's uh, <clears throat> agreement uh, so what we have the problem in the case is basically the knight of cups the knight of cups is a very romantic card it's uh, talking about basically proposals expressing one's interest into other in other people it's a uh, very very romantic it's like it seems that it's talking about the case where uh, some sort of, well, um, love, romance, uh, relationships, romance is a problem here. Someone is being romantic with someone, basically, we see in this card. Like a crazy lover or a crazy man who is inter or a woman who is basically uh, in love with somebody. So we deal with a very emotional person. Now the devil card is a problem in this relationship. Can show a criminality. Can show a person who is very, uh, who is very passionate. Who is very sexual. Who is very, you know, like uh, mean. Um, well, basically, it's a typical cr criminality card. The problem is the, the criminal, criminal, some sort of thing, and related to the love thing and uh, will you win this case is basically uh, not easy here the strength card uh, you might win this case but you have to be strong you have to be enormously strong and you have to not show your physical force you have to do gently you have to find a way to do it wisely you have to find a way not to show your emotions here. Yeah? You have to kind of pretend to be like a sheep. Um, I think kind of the person here, um, well, it's like a dangerous person, yeah. But, and it's kind of, might be in intimidating to deal with this person if it's really what I'm talking about. So the strength card can talk about you'll need extreme strength and you need to struggle. 
um, but the, another meaning is that you kind of have to pretend like you're on this person's side that you kind of care about this person although he's scary but you have to like uh, gently approach this person find a wise way to approach this person like a mother approaches a child and uh, that can help like this tactic also can show about well the strength issues I don't know maybe actually the, the very strength is needed here to courage lots of courage and lots of you know physical emotional strength now I'm kind of um, Seeing the opposite thing, what I said now. Uh, advice. What is the actual advice here? Ten of Cups reversed. Um, I don't read reversals, but it talks about family. So, advice here is family. Go through family. Look into the family. Look into the house. Look into the children, wife, etc parents, something in the family, through the family, basically you can find your answer, you can find uh, a way, maybe the person is very sensitive through the family, maybe you can go through uh, emotional stuff and uh, family stuff, house, uh, children, that sort of thing, to to help yourself to deal with this case. And especially through a female. There's a female. She's very strong, independent, can be fierce. And another female. Female who's interested in money, can be a housewife, can be... So there are two females in the family. <clears throat> the star the star can talk about a person that is deceased it can talk about also I think one of the females might be actually not alive and uh, maybe uh, Something through her, about her, something to do with her. Maybe she will help you throw from the other side. Maybe she has, she wants to help you from the other side. Maybe there's something about her that she will offer you some sort of guidance or some sort of proof or some sort of, I don't know. One more card for the strength, King of Cups. It totally shows uh, like a person who lost their mind because of love or passion or sexuality will you win this case? yes you kinda not convinced though but I think uh, again we have a hermit maybe through a right research and you have a uh, energy you have the enthusiasm if you do what your gut tells you to do if you follow your instincts I think you might win this and you need help from not one person but a group of people uh, you need the help of like organizations, you need the help of uh, groups of people, like uh, maybe some sort of businesses, schools, I don't know, lots of other people. You cannot do this alone at all. You need uh, partnerships and um, not with one or two, you need like groups, big groups of people, three people, 
more than three people, maybe even businesses, organizations. I don't know if you are this male, like, uh, will you win this case? It just shows a man, a man, will you win this case? A man who's very, who's not a lawyer mind, who's not a, like, not into the, like, not a lawyer at all. He's like a civilian, <laughs> civilian who's very emotional. Our artist uh, goes through their very, can be irritated type, very unstable emotions, that sort of thing. Um, but uh, you need help uh, from maybe, I think, lots of research and lots of work. It's, uh, I'm, I'm not getting the answer of winning. I don't see the winning of the case and I don't see the losing either. More like... Uh, it hasn't started maybe the case or something like that. What do I need to know about the case for this? Well, some sort of message here. Message, money and being not interested like this can just talk about the documents that maybe the case is not started or some sort of documents need to be submitted and the person has no motivation so yeah something is weird like a uh, case is not happening here or something like that because it doesn't show winning it doesn't show any lawyers it doesn't show any court nothing like that but uh, <clears throat> So yeah, but some research is needed, uh, shows as an advice, well, family, women, advice. Star also talks about hope, and uh, but also talks about long, long time, that uh, you might succeed after a long, long time, but you can still try, etc., Okay, that's it. I don't think I can say anything else. Let's look at the jack number five now. <coughs> jack number five. So, will you win this case? And advice. I'm pulling three cards. That will tell us more about the case. The first card is the situation, the second is the problem, and the third one is the outcome. So Eight of Swords shows a possible arrest, uh, being in jail, being uh, not free, uh, physically restricted basically. It can be that, uh, well, police arrested some sort of person. It can be, well, if not arrested, then it can be that... Uh, Situation is pretty helpless. Situation is pretty sad. Uh, you don't see any outcome in the, from the situation. You feel pretty miserable. There is uh, this. You don't see that um, outcome basically in the situation. Now the problem is uh, the lover's card can talk uh, that uh, you know the case involves your second uh, second part, second side, like your partner. Uh, like it's a marital some sort of problem or it can be uh, between boyfriend and girlfriend some sort of partners uh, between partners some sort of problem lovers the outcome is a nine of coins uh, this card talks about uh, you getting lots of money you getting lots of money so uh, I think it means a winning here in this case it talks you being feeling good about yourself, you being rich, you being in a good place. So it might talk about winning the case actually. Also, let's pull one card as an advice here. Yeah. 
Knight of Cups. Uh, well, it's romance, it's love, it's <clears throat> it's uh, doing doing it with love, uh, doing it uh, not aggressively but very calmly, very lovingly, uh, having that approach. It also can talk about romance, and uh, the answer is in the romantic relationships. The answer is in the you know maybe offering some someone something like nicely you know with love don't be afraid and go on with this don't be afraid and do what you want to do it can also show uh, that you think that other part you have a cons um, some sort of opinion about that other person with whom you are with the other side with whom, whom you are in the case that the person maybe is not good or you're afraid of him but you have a wrong perception it's not like you think and maybe your imagination about that other person uh, is wrong so it says um, do it with love don't be afraid uh, it's your it's in your mind only and don't be paranoid basically and the chariot is just to move on and do it just do it you know don't uh, you might succeed you know uh, with this Knight of clubs it also can talk about some sort of traveling moving away or um, some distance thing if some sort of travel is also in a place like different countries long distance some sort of problem so it shows that it's relevant to move on, to move physically from certain place or certain person, or like it's gonna help the case or, or something like that. If you have in mind some sort of uh, action plan, then of course you have to move with that action plan. And again, we have the card of strength. It talks about being courageous. It talks about not being afraid of anything. So eight of swords and star and this. Well, it shows a struggle, struggle, some sort of um, struggle, like almost like paying also uh, the current situation. Can be sometimes bad health or and real real struggle real burden like current situation but <clears throat> it does show like you pray or something can be financially str uh, struggling also like finances are pressing you <clears throat> the problem is lovers partner partner is a problem it's over maybe some relationship is over can be partner is you know because we're talking about legal cases so I don't know maybe the partner has passed away or something or the partner has gone and left you you know like partners in the past already some sort of relationship so it talks the winning it talks about the winning I think and I just ask for clarification, we have the High Priestess and the Emperor can show some sort of secrets that uh, you don't know about the case yet. And the partner, uh, sorry, the Emperor can be the husband or a father or something that they have maybe uh, some sort of mistress. And because of that, uh, you know, it can, you know, you can win the case. It can also mean that uh, there's some sort of thing that you don't know yet. Uh, the emperor can also symbolize structures like bridges and houses and buildings, etc. So it can be something related with that will uh, lead you to winning the case because there is still information uncovered, you know, etc. Okay, so that's it. This was reading number five. Please comment in the comments. Was this any accurate? Was it helpful or not helpful? Because without feedback, I have no idea. So, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great night. Bye-bye.